The European Union voted Monday to end its arms embargo against opposition fighters taking on President Bashar Assad's regime. Britain and France are the only countries considering arms shipments. But no member nation has immediate plans to send weapons. Many are waiting for next month's Geneva Peace Conference, which some diplomats say is the best chance yet to end the two-year-old civil war. But members of Syria's National Council say they can't wait. They would like the international community to move immediately to stop the killing. Opposition leaders made their case to Senator John McCain, who slipped into Syria on Monday for a short visit. McCain supports arming the rebels. The U.S. has only provided non-lethal assistance, but did welcome the EU's decision. It certainly sends a message to the Assad regime. Russia quickly criticized the move and announced it has a contract to sell anti-aircraft missiles to the Syrian government. If arms do flow from European countries, it's unclear how much it will impact Assad's forces. From the government side, this poses extra threats and perhaps a little bit of extra pressure to attend the Geneva con conference. But in the bigger scheme of things, it probably doesn't change an awful lot for them. A member of Syria's ruling Ba'ath Party warns arming the opposition will discourage the government from a peaceful solution. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.